So for my Ninja 500R Turbo, I want to increase performance, basically reduce back pressure. Um, <coughs> so here's the hot side. So this, the exhaust nail on the bike now, it's been ground out to this point here to match the exhaust and I've taped that off to down inside. You can see inside the thing here. ground a lot of the stuff out inside it to sort of reduce back pressure. It's still making, it'll make 19 pounder boost. So, um, but what I found also was that the wastegate, with the wastegate wide open, it would still over boost. And so I've drilled this out, this little hole, the little wastegate hole, it was only a half inch. So I've drilled that out to five eighths of an inch. Um, and that helped, that helped get wastegate control of it. But I'm looking at it more and what I'm seeing here is that, so you see you have this exhaust wheel sitting in the thing here, runs with clearance obviously, and it has a little cover plate that goes down there so that, that matches to the back of the wheel here, a little bit of clearance. So really your effective exhaust area, pointer here, exhaust area flows down through here through the outer periphery of these these tips well look at all this look at all the exhaust housing stuff here this isn't very good flow so what i'm going to do is, is everything outside of this little mark here i'm going to grind away and taper it off nicely so that the flow exits onto the tip of the wheel nicely instead of rolling off this edge and then creating a big turbulence through here and then going on and out um, also then that will that will increase the area down inside down here so I'll have a bit of a grind on that port thing and I'll let you know and this will basically what you're trying to do is get the boost and the back pressure to be very similar pressures you, you, Typically you'll have them almost one to one, I think, um, in a pretty high performance system. So this little VZ21 Turbo isn't too bad, but its, um, it's exhaust needs a bit of work on it. So the, uh, the cold side is fine. As I said, it's, it'll make 19 pounder boost without a problem. Um, it needs a little bit of flow work inside here sort of reduce this edge here, sharpen that up a bit, but other than that it's not too bad on the cold side, so I'm not going to do a whole lot with that. But the exhaust side is what needs the work, so I'll do some work on that and I'll, I'll show you again. So I've ground on this for a while. Um, here's the inlet. It's getting better. I need to blend the wastegate hole in a bit, but it's mostly out to its size. Um, I use like this tapered bit's pretty good for the most of that. And then the, the ball is reasonable for inside the snail housing, but I'll flip it over and show the inside in a minute. Here's the inside so far. So see I've got it mostly down to the edge of where the exhaust turbine blades are. So it's getting there. I need to blend in right in here a bit sort of can't see much there yet so I'll keep working on it and I'll show you the finish so here's the end result um, you can see see now it flows up to the edge of the turbine blade tips Tapers off quite quickly in there. I didn't touch. I didn't touch this upper edge here. Just all in this. There we go. Pretty decent in there inside there.
I radiused off the wastegate entry and exit. Ended it all out. So, took quite a few, quite a few um, grinder bits to make it all work. Even this long one here and small ones and stuff. But so hopefully this will um, this will reduce back pressure. It's making plenty of boost. I mean, way more boost than I need. Um, this reduced the back pressure and um, basically let it rev on up, I think. So I've probably basically bought the AR of this turbine housing up higher than it was, even though I haven't changed the wheel. I've increased the flow, so reduced back pressure, and that's always a good thing on a turbo. Anyway, um, let me know if you what you think about it in the comments and stuff, and I'll answer everything. But anyway, I'll um, get this on the bike, and if I can get some good weather here pretty soon, I'll go for a ride and um, do a ride video. It's just... December here in the Midwest, it, um, it gets hard to get ride time. Anyway, thanks a lot.